thoughts from my mind. Hello everybody, this is Pete with another video in my series of 31 or so that I'm making to promote this album. Silhouette, Daphne songs performed by her friends. Today's video concerns Jamie Shuey and her version of Daphne's song, Save Me. Um, but first, I'm outside my apartment again. I wasn't planning on doing two videos outside my apartment, but I couldn't think of a better location for this uh, episode. Uh, today's episode concerns, uh, well, Daphne's song, but also I wish for my intro to talk about the recording that we did here for Daphne's first album, Red, uh, which we recorded in our apartment, and uh, I'd just like to give my recollection of those times. Daphne, when Daphne was playing in the band Stay at Home, when they first began, they were pretty much doing her set. I have a recording of their first show, and I think like nine of the ten songs are like Daphne's songs. And um, what happened then over the subsequent, I think they were together for about a year and a half, and pretty much they kept, Daphne would write new songs and then they would become songs for the band, or Andy, the bassist, he would uh, introduce songs, and maybe even Mo introduced a song, I don't remember. And then they, maybe they did some co-writes and uh, some covers and stuff like that. Um, so as the band was progressing, I, I kind of suggested to Daphne that uh, they kind of dropped a lot of her songs that, that they used to play in the early days. And it seemed to be that to, between Daphne's Dreamland demo, which was recorded in 2000 and Hmm, 2001 and say 2004 when Stay At Home was together Daphne hadn't released anything and she was playing lots of shows and people would always ask her oh do you have an album and, and she'd always oh I got, you know, I've got this little demo but I don't play any of these songs anymore and then Stay At Home came along and they were did her songs but then they dropped some of the songs to introduce you know as the band grew and progressed and, and became better and better they uh, didn't do those early songs, so my idea was that Daphne should record those and then we'll release it as a Daphne solo album in case, you know, Stay At Home became like really popular. It'd be this solo album and it'll be exciting for the fans. <laughs> or whatever. Anyway, just to get the songs out. So we uh, recorded some of the songs here before, around the time when we were, maybe between the, the, the Beverly Hills Courthouse wedding and the Saints of Fears um, Greek Orthodox wedding. We recorded some of the songs, basic tracks, and, and Daphne had some ideas to overdub other instruments on there. And um, but I remember after we got married at the Saint Sophia's Church, it was kind of like, oh, let's just finish that record off. So I think we did it early in 2005. I think we, I remember we finished it off, maybe January, February. And um, I think the record is. I have very mixed feelings about the record. On one hand, I think we did a good job with recording the vocals and the guitar and all the instruments, they sound good. But on the other hand, the mix is not good, I don't think. Um, particularly because Daphne didn't record uh, to a click. She kind of overdubbed certain instruments on certain songs, a bass or some percussion or some uh, piano. And it doesn't quite gel. I mean, there are times when it's like completely off the beat. <laughs> it's so obvious and it's so embarrassing and I don't like to really to listen to these songs, but I think the quality of the recording is good. We did a good job with the with microphones and the microphone placement and uh, avoiding clipping and various technical things, but we didn't have any idea really about how to mix. And I think some of the, like our, you know, we didn't um, have a clue really about how to use compression and EQ and stuff like that to make a better mix. We knew how well, we learned how to record things cleanly. And in that regard, I think it's nice. And I think probably if I took the files and, and uh, cut out all the overdubs and it was just vocal and guitar, I think, I think it would be a much, probably a much better record in, in hindsight. Um, but perhaps, you know, you need to go through these processes to, to learn uh, what mistakes to avoid in the future. But uh, to me, the Red Album is, it was kind of a necessary album to make in Daphne's progress of his career. And some of the songs sound very good, especially the ones that uh, are just vocal and guitar. Let me just look at the... I think Control sounds very good. That was a song that Daphne um, played live. It was very frenetic, and, and a lot of people like that song. Save My Dreams is good, but it's got a lot of overdubs. It's a nice song. 
Should Have Forgotten All About You, which David Serby does on the Tribute album. I think it sounds pretty good. It's just uh, Daphne plays Daphne vocal and guitar, and then she overdubbed a bit of guitar and a kind of a solo section. Mr. America is one that that um, has a lot of overdubs, but I think it kind of works. Red, she played on piano. Temperance, I think, is just vocal and guitar. To Her Door is a cover of a Paul Kelly song that I actually introduced Daphne to. That's, a, that's another story for another day. Um, Never Make Me Cry, which Rick Shade does. I think it's just vocal and guitar, so it sounds good. And at the end, there's uh, a little uh, percussion jam with uh, that even I play on called Error Minus 9073, which was the, uh, the title comes from this uh, error that popped up every time we recorded and wanted to save something it like it was just so frustrating on our computer this error message popped up and we could do nothing to nothing to save it except i don't know go back and repeat what you've done and hope the next time you save it it works so that kind of popped up so many times that we thought we'd use that as the uh, title for the song for this little percussive jam um speaking of the percussive jam it was terry moore daphne's uh, friend from the pharmacology department and her son and me and Daphne, we play on, we were playing all the percussion on that stuff. It actually sounds really good. Just recorded with one, one microphone. It's probably the most, uh, the, the best recording on the whole record. Although it's not really a Daphne song. It was just a bit of percussion that we all played to play together. Um, also on the record, Dustin Moore, Terry Moore's son. He plays bass on some songs, particularly Mr. America. I think it's a really nice part that he plays. Daphne played bass on maybe three songs and Dustin on three songs and... I think it's, yeah, like I said earlier, I think it's like it was a necessary album to make, but it's kind of one that I don't think, uh, I don't know, I can really recommend to people to listen to, unless you're Daphne completist and you want to uh, get the whole set. Anyway, okay, today's video is really about um, Jamie Shuey and her version of Daphne's song, Save Me. Uh, Save Me is a song that appears on Daphne's album, Sweet Time. And it's kind of, uh, it sounds like very much like a, oh, I don't know, like a gospel or something. It's like, the, the, no other Daphne song sounds like that. And um, I'm very happy that Jamie picked that one to play on the album. Uh, Jamie is a fantastic singer, songwriter, guitarist. Uh, we met her at, well, I seem to recall meeting her at the cinema bar at the Stumpwater experiment. It was like a Monday night kind of jam where people could come and just kind of was like an open mic kind of but more than a not like an open mic organized with everyone coming and not knowing each other. It was kind of like a bunch of people get together, everyone gets to play some songs and then maybe someone was sitting with you on the banjo or whatever and, and it was much more friendly than that than a typical open mic. And I don't remember having met Daph, uh, sorry, Jamie before then but um, she, we definitely saw her at the very first stump water experiment that we went to at the cinema bar, which must have been pretty early in, in our time after we discovered the cinema bar. So I'm guessing probably 2005, some point. Jamie claims in the interview that we met earlier at the Vons, which is just around the corner here, um, but I don't remember that. It's possible. Daphne was, like I said, Daphne, I've said several times before, Daphne was very friendly and... Um, and would chat to anyone, you know, at the supermarket or whatever. I like to get my beer, check out, go home, <laughs> not, not necessarily talk to anyone. But she would chat to people. I don't remember meeting Jamie at the, at the Vons, but she claimed she did. And she remembers Daphne had braids in her hair. And as we see on the, uh, on the Red Album, Daphne had the uh, braids for that cover art. So the uh, timeline is about right. Um, Jamie's got a fantastic voice for kind of country music and kind of honky-tonk singing. She's very powerful. Uh, she has a, that sound in her voice of that kind of that you'd expect for a country singer. Um, I think she only has one album called Wrong Girl. Fortunately, I don't have a copy on me. Um, that she recorded with Charlie McGovern. And then I think because of Jamie's positive review or positive everything positive she had to say about the recording experience of that record i think um daphne uh kind of decided that she wanted to do her next album with charlie mcgovern too so and charlie had recorded several of like the, the, the stars at the cinema bar um randy weeks and tony gilkerson and mike stinson and i know mule the band that dan janish from the skiffle band 
they'd recorded there and Tracy Huffman was in that band too. So we had all these albums from the, 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 like the, the stars at the cinema bar had all recorded with Charlie McGovern. So Daphne wanted to record with Charlie McGovern and Jamie had just recorded around that time and she was like gushing about how wonderful it was. So Daphne approached Charlie and, and ended up recording her second album. Sorry, her third album with uh, Charlie McGovern. Uh, Charlie's Lonely Sunday. Um, this song, Save Me, yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a gospel. On, uh, I think Daphne played it quite a bit, but when it came to recording it, uh, she got this, um, guy who was friends with uh, Jeff and Mark, Daphne's rhythm section. They played some jazz stuff with, or well, they knew him from UCLA, maybe, when they, they were all at UCLA together. Um, they got, um, Mike Bolger, yeah, he played to play, uh, piano and trumpet, and it just lifts a song. It's amazing performance that he does on the record and I, the song just gets that kind of it gets sounds even more gospely and maybe you know, New Orleans jazz or something like that Daphne's version is really good Jamie sings it extremely well um, we recorded this song again it was recorded at Kevin Jarvis's studio with Daphne's backing band it's sounding familiar me <laughs> me, me introducing songs that way um, so it has Mark Sanfilippo on the drums, Jeff Rackness on the bass, and Peter Kavanagh on guitar, Jamie Shuey on the vocals, and I think it's just fantastic. She has the kind of voice that can really belt out that kind of song, and um, Jamie's one of my favourite singers, and you should check out her album, Wrong Girl, it's like a country music album. And also she, has, she sings all kinds of different styles on there. There's a gospel song on there, and a, I know she used to sing a song in French, I think it's on that album. She's kind of like Daphne, I think, a bit. I think, yeah, Daphne and Jamie Shuey and Sarah Stanley were kind of the three female-fronted singer-songwriter band leaders who performed at the cinema bar very regularly in those days, in the early days of the cinema bar. And uh, we used to love going to see Jamie play. And um, I think I've said enough. Okay, I hope you enjoy listening to Jamie singing Daphne's song, Save Me, and I uh, hope you'll come back for the next one. Okay, bye. Hey, Jamie. Can I wear my sunglasses? Oh, my sweet love, chase these evil thoughts from my mind. Oh, my, oh, my, this heart of mine, it cannot lie. I just want to dance until the morning comes my way. How I pray to hold him each and every, each and every, each and every day. I ain't no sinner, my mama told me not to be. Oh Lord, I keep on praying, maybe you will save me. I believe it was at the cinema bar on a stump water experiment mm -hmm. on a Monday night. Um, she was one of the performers and I was there also to perform and play some songs and yeah, that's what I recall. But actually, the real truth is, Justin and I were in the Vons near Federal and saw you guys there and saw Daphne, and that's when she had her, like, dreads and it's all, like, yeah, yeah, her braids. And I was like, oh, they look cool. We should meet them, you know? <laughs> like, and we were kind of, re I remembered her because she was so distinctive looking. When I saw her at the cinema, I'm like, that's the girl we saw at Vons, that cool girl. <laughs> and, yeah, so, anyway. Plus, you didn't know us when you saw us at Vons? No, we didn't know you yet. Did we speak at that? Do we speak? I, t I think we just said, oh, hey, how you doing? I think you guys were maybe getting Guinness and we were getting Probably. Guinness or something, that you know? My, we were getting that was my habit at those, exactly. in those days. Exactly, yeah. Maybe you will save me. Oh, Lord, I keep on praying. Maybe you will save me. Oh, oh Lord, I keep on praying. Maybe you will save me. How I pray to hold him each and every, each and every, each and every day. I ain't no sinner, 
my papa told me not to be Oh Lord, I keep on praying Maybe you will save me Oh Lord, I keep on praying Maybe you will save me So incredibly talented, so... I was always like impressed with her diligence. Like she never, she just always worked and was always inspired. It seemed like, I mean, you know, I, I tend to lose my, you know, I'm like, ugh, I get lazy. And she's a great songwriter, great singer, amazing guitar player. Like I just, I wish I could play like that. Well, I know she played bass, though, originally, right? Yeah, that's how, how she, started she began in high school. She yeah. played bass. Yeah. yeah. And, and then French the horn. French horn. The French horn. Yeah. yeah. Somebody needs to save me from that. Yeah, <laughs> we will save you from that. <laughs> save me. What's happening with the guitar? <coughs> Again? Sounds really fucking cool. Why do you need to do your part again? <laughs> I got a job. Why don't we come in from I ain't no sinner? Like that pickup, because it'll be easier to tell where we are, right? Don't you think? Oh Lord, I keep on praying. Maybe you will save me. Oh Lord, I keep on praying. Maybe you will save me. Oh Lord, I keep on praying, maybe you save me. It was kind of cool for the rest of the body, mm -hmm. but you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, vocals were great or not? Do you want to do the game? Fine. I think it's a usable tape. All right, well, let's, let's do the same thing again. All right, ready, everybody? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, I keep on praying. Maybe you will save me. Good. I think we got it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this session went well. Um, of course, I could always use more time, but there's a lot <laughs> of other people here <laughs> that want to record as well. <laughs> so um, <coughs> I think it was great. I think the guys were really quick and picked it up quick, and we got it done. And the song, I like the song. Well, I feel like Daphne and I share a real love for Billie Holiday, and so that's what it really reminds me of is that love we share for that kind of music and I also kind of personally relate to the lyrics a little bit <laughs> <laughs> it is called save me after all <laughs> so <laughs> I just like it I, I like the story she's telling and the whole sentiment is you know very cool
Too, but other girls are singing those today too. <laughs> well, you can tell us about that song too. Uh, Let's pretend. That was Let's pretend. Song you, that I remember you doing at the show. Yeah, Jen's singing it right now. Um, I just the feeling of it. Like I like the. It's got a little Latin feel, and the changes are really interesting. Um, that one's a little unusual lyrically for Daphne as well. Like, yeah, it's just so I saucy and, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's very kind of dark, you know? Yeah. yeah. You guys ready for gospel? Yeah! This one's on my new record. The official CD release party is going to be on October 30th, right here. And I have my good friend Gwendolyn, she's going to open. And there'll be special guests. Actually, Tony Gilkison played on my record, and he'll be joining us for some songs. And Peter will be here, and Jeff will be here, and Mark will be here. Maybe some more people. If anyone else wants to come up and play, Brent might be here. Yeah. <laughs> I have a crush on Brand- I you, Brantley. I told I wouldn't say anything, but I think we all have a crush on you. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate the song to you, Brantley. <laughs>
Save me, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody. And there's so many. <clears throat> Just loved going to your house concerts and eating her Spanakopita, which was amazing and just great food and people hanging out. We did that so many times. Mm -hmm. I remember she gave me like a really cute pair of mittens for my birthday one time. Um, and I think the overarching thing is just that she was so positive, like mm -hmm. a good friend, a positive person, like always brought joy to the table. Mm -hmm. You know, which is, you know, unusual. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's like that, so. Yeah, she's missed pretty mm -hmm. much. Okay, thanks, Jane. Yes. Okay, we are rolling. I gesture a lot. <laughs>